Darwin's book on human evolution, The Descent of Man, revealed him as what Dr. John West calls a virulent racist. He did write extensively about how evolution by natural selection creates unequal races, and that in the evolutionary scheme of things, blacks are the closest to apes. Darwinism is one of the most dangerous ideas in the world today. One, one proponent uh, of Darwinism described it as universal acid. It dissolves everything. Hosea Baxter directs Reconciliation Ministries at Crossroads Bible College. He says racism had always been around, but Darwin gave it an air of scientific legitimacy. Blacks and Native Americans would be portrayed as savages or ignorant or people who could not be civilized, no hope of being civilized. Baxter works with Dr. Charles Ware, co-author of Darwin's Plantation, Evolution's Racist Roots. Ware and co-author Ken Ham wrote, on the last page of his book, The Descent of Man, Charles Darwin expressed the opinion that he would rather be descended from a monkey than from a savage. In describing those with darker skin, he often used words like savage, low, and degraded to describe American Indians, pygmies, and almost every ethnic group whose physical appearance and culture differed from his own. Ware and Ham contend Darwin did more than anyone else to popularize racism. Another quote, one professor in the 1880s wrote, I consider the Negro to be a lower species of man and cannot make up my mind to look upon him as a man and a brother, for the gorilla would then also have to be admitted into the family. Since blacks were somewhere in the evolutionary scale between apes and men, they did not have souls. And since they didn't have souls, some argued we don't even have to preach the gospel to them. Slavery and segregation kept the races apart, but maybe even more dangerous was how Darwin's theories led to active eugenics, the idea of trying to breed a better human being. Baxter says eugenicists were asking, How do we stop the breeding of these inferior races? It led to the forced sterilization of 70,000 Americans, many of them blacks. And then along came Margaret Sanger, founder of what would become Planned Parenthood. Margaret Sanger was very Darwinian and very much inspired by this overall idea that we're counteracting the law of natural selection by allowing people she considered less fit, whether it be uh, because they were poor immigrants or, or people of other races. Part of the impetus behind abortion was to annihilate uh, the black race. There were also many laws to keep blacks from marrying whites. Baxter says lawmakers were made afraid by arguments in books like 1907's Race Mongrels. If we don't create this separation of the race, we're going to create this mongrel race, this race of, uh, say, retards. But Ware, the father of four interracial children, says that fear was ridiculous. People used to, interracial marriage was horrible, it was going to destroy racial groups and all that. Hasn't destroyed anything. We're still human beings. Ware has dedicated his life and his ministry to undoing the damage of racism. Bringing red, yellow, black, and white together based on biblical principle. Here in Indianapolis, Indiana, Dr. Ware heads up Crossroads Bible, a small college, but one with big ideas about racial reconciliation. It starts with showing what the Bible says about race, a direct contradiction of Darwinism. There's only one race, and the Bible clearly spells that out. From one man he made every nation of men. Eve was the mother of all the living. These three were the sons of Noah, and from these the whole earth was populated. In their book, Ware and Ham point out, modern genetics shows racial differences are in reality little more than skin deep. And quote a scientist who says, race is a social construct, and it has no basic biological reality. Crossroads Bible College pushes its students to push hard across race barriers. Get over the fear of failure. Get over the fear of rejection. We need to be intentional. We need to find people, meet people, talk to people. But reconciliation then becomes that vehicle by which the world can look into the church and see evidence that God has sent the Son. That's how important reconciliation is. And we got to figure out how do we carry out Matthew 28, 19, and 20. How do we make disciples of all Ponta Ecne, all people group? So what Christians like Dr. Ware hope to convince the church is that it has to reject Darwinian thought and accept what the Bible says. There's only one race, the human race, and we have to love it in all its diversity. Paul Strand, CBN News, reporting from Crossroads Bible College, Indiana.